Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. Hey, everybody, um, everybody should go to worship. But when you're homebound, I got an idea. Why not bring worship to you? Ah, hey, if this is also on my YouTube, and this is also on my podcast. And so um, if, you're, if you want to know where to find my podcast, it's um, chaplainchat.podomatic.com. That's chaplainchat.podomatic, spelled P O. D O M A T I C dot com. Okay, this is great, Bruce. We're, we made it. We got the sound and everything working, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah we do. Now, I, um, I I was talking to Bruce earlier today um, on the phone, and um, I last night was one of the nights I should have been at Celebrate Recovery, but I'm homebound now, and it was really great talking to you. And you were sharing with me some cool stuff going on. And I thought, and I felt like when we were um, talking, I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm homebound, but I'm having a worship experience just listening to you. So, so this is again for me, not anybody else. No, I'm bringing worship in. Hey, Bruce, tell me what you do. What you know, you, I call you Bruce, the, the the guitar guy. But what do you do, especially on uh, Thursday nights? Uh, I get to lead worship with a really neat group of guys who I, I've been playing with for many years. Wow. Um, matter of fact, one of the guys in the group, uh, he and I started out in 1975. Oh my gosh. So we, yeah. We're, we're right tipping at 40 years together and, and, um, we write music together. We've been doing that. Then he moved away for a while and we uh, corresponded over the internet. He would write lyrics and then he'd send them to me and I put the music together. Wow. We, we have a, we got quite a folder of stuff that we've written ourselves. Hey, who is that guy? I, I, uh... Dave Hall. His name's Dave Hall. Okay, but I, I don't know all the names of your band. Okay, the guy that sits next to me on, the, on my right side when we play. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, oh fan. Yeah, he's the dude. And so, and, and actually, um, you lead worship at your church, which is where? Uh, no, I don't do that anymore. Oh, okay, okay. That's I, fine. I, I, I was at uh, uh, First Christian Church for okay. seven years. So you're doing, but now you're leading. So now on Thursday, you're leading worship. Well, I, I, I have to tell you the story. I, I ran yeah. into Pat. I, Pat's known me Pat since. Long. Yes, he, she knew me when I was in high school. And oh, I had. Really? Yeah. Uh, so I hadn't seen her in years. And I ran into her at a meeting that we both went to, and she asked me what I was doing, and I shared that I was leading worship at the church. She goes, "Well, why don't you why don't you come to recovery and, and, and share a song with us?" And and uh, of course, at that time, I didn't know what, what recovery was, and I said, well, "So what's recovery?" And she she shared with me, and and I was able to go, and I went and sang, and I never left, and that was ten years ago. Oh my goodness! Oh and wow! So God just. He, she, he took me from where I was and put me over at recovery. Wow. And, um, it's just so, worked out really well. Well, you know, you shared me a powerful night last night. Every night's a powerful night. But share with me what what happened last night. Last, last night was, well, you didn't show. You couldn't come. So we, had a, we switched things around a little bit. And, uh, of course, Ken, who helps lead, did mm -hmm. a really good job in speaking and uh, but the worship time was so good because they love to worship. They do. People love to worship and they really got into it. And, and a lot of the songs we did were, they're just really heartfelt songs. And, um, but afterwards, when we got done with our set, I was able to, you know, I, I always ask if someone would like to accept the Lord or if anybody needs prayer to come up and we would love to pray for them. And um, so at first, nobody came up. Uh, right then and I said okay well we'll, we'll offer again later on and which we did and this one gentleman when they were handing out chips he came up and said I want to I want to turn my life over to the Lord okay real quick real quick people may not know when they're handing out chips what that is 
it's how many years you have clean. Okay, very good. Yeah. Simple as that. Pat Colucci's, I think she got a, uh, they had to make special chips for her um, because I think she got a 65. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, anyway, and she's, okay. with, she's really celebrating with the Lord now because she is who she is right now. So anyway, let's go back to what happened that night. So this gentleman came up and then Ken goes, he goes, well, don't, don't get comfortable because we want to pray for you. And so afterwards we, we brought him back up and we, we led him through the sinner's prayer. Oh, and wow. The way we, we, a lot of times the way we do it, we say it all together. Yes, yes, yes. It's really comfortable for everybody. But this gentleman was so, so emotional, he just couldn't control his tears. And it just, it just, wow. It just touched my heart. I just, you know, because I'm thinking, man, I, I know what's going on in his head. All the things that he's gone through in his life, and now he's, come to the place in his life that he's he knows he needs the lord in his life and uh it was it was just beautiful and, and uh gave him a big old hug and told him that would be there for him and because recovery is to me recovery is family amen and and amen. it's a worship time it's church amen it's, yes and it so is. yeah and so we got to pray with him and and it was really great uh and we have a lot of people that, that come to know him because of testimony somebody we might give, a song that might be sung. Um, we always have guest speakers like you that come in, and which, are, which is fantastic. And um, uh, people are, are hurting right now. This is a yeah. bad time. Yes, it is. We all know that. Um, my, my drummer and I just talked a little, a little while ago, and we were talking about how you know, things are not getting better. They're getting worse. And he goes, if you can remember back in the day when we were growing up, you hardly heard about shootings. And now we hear about shootings every day. And um, people, are, people are looking for things. Yes, they are. They're looking for something more than what they got. And, and being at recovery, we're able to share Christ. And, uh, Amen. And that's the only way. Can I, I, can, <laughs> Bruce, I want to do something. Um, I want to re. Well, let's, I want us to do the sinner's prayer, but let me repeat it after you. Okay. Well, I have my own way. Oh, that's right. I, you, to be, be honest, I do my own way too. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so there's no set I have format. Specific, you know. Yeah. For yourself. But do that. Let's do, and I'm going to no, repeat it after you. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your son who you sent to die on the cross for my sins. Who you sent to die on the cross for my sins. This day. This day. And this day forward. And this day forward. I want to walk with him. I want to walk with him. And I believe that he not only died on the cross, but he was buried and rose again. I believe that not only he died on the cross, but he was buried and rose again. And now he sits at the Father's right-hand side. And now he sits at the Father's right-hand side. Preparing a place for me. Preparing a place for me. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will serve him to the best of my ability. I will serve him to the best of my ability. Amen. Amen. Wow. That... That's a prayer we can do. It's like renewing our wedding vows or renewing our vows to him every day. And, and I want to tell you, it was powerful just doing that. Because we need to hear it. Pat would always say, you need to hear it. You know, yes. and yes. you need to hear it here and in here. Um, Bruce, you got a song for us, don't you? I do. And then I want you to introduce the song any way you want. But I'm going to... I just may say amen, and that may wrap this time up. But so, Paul, Bruce, <laughs> whatever your well, name is. Bruce. is it, I, I know you and I talked earlier today about another song that uh -huh. I, I might be able to do. Um, and then I was talking to my wife, and I, and I said, what do you think about this song? And it's called Someone Worth Dying For. Wow. And, I, and I, we sang this last night, and I asked the group, I said, do you think you're worth dying for? And of course, nobody answered, but, but I said, like, here's the point. I said, 
Jesus thinks so. And that's what he did for you. He died for you because he thinks you're worth it. And otherwise he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have sacrificed himself on the cross. Wow. To, you know, to die for all our sins. And we're talking about every sin in the world. He, he put upon himself. Can you imagine that? You know, I, I can only imagine. Yeah. 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 That's a good song too. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so I shared that with him and I said, so Christ died for you because he loves you. Wow. Because you're worth it. I know sometimes in life, we don't think we're worth anything, but you know what that is? That's the evil one. Just putting those negative thoughts yeah. in your head. Yeah. So we have the choice in life to, to change that and to start walking with him. So with that, I'll, I'll go ahead and try to sing this for you. You might be the wife waiting up at night. You might be the man struggling to provide, feeling like it's hopeless. Maybe you're the son who chose a broken road. Maybe you're the girl thinking you'll end up alone. Bring God God, are you listening? Am I more than flesh and bone? Am I really something beautiful? Yeah, I want to believe. I want to believe that I'm not just some wandering soul. You don't see Dying 
Bruce, we just had a worship service right now. Amen. And I, 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 and those of you watching this or listening on podcast, you have a, you're by, you, you're a part of that worship service. Now, if you want to be a part of it live every Thursday at Praise Center in Visalia, California, at uh, six thirty, you are invited to come to the Recovery Church. Amen. Because we're all recovering from something. And um, you might even see me there, but God will be there. And usually Bruce will too. Yes, God sir. bless. And uh, Bruce, thanks for the worship. Thank you, John.